Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up your indicators to use the KISS strategy. So if you are an IML customer, you can log into the IML Web Analyzer. It's imlwebanalyzer.com. You're going to enter your username and password, same username and password that you use for your, your site, your IML site. And when you first log in, I'm going to walk you through exactly what I do. There's a few things that I prefer and also just how to set up a strategy. If you are not an IML customer, you can definitely use this on another platform like MetaTrader 4. However, your MACD is not gonna give you the two signal lines. You will have one signal line and it's very hard to read in that way. So you'll have to figure that out and decide how to do that. But particularly for those of you who are using the IML Web Analyzer, when you log in, the first thing that you want to do is select your strategy. So if you click on this wheel over here that I have highlighted, it says Web Analyzer Settings to the left. And if you click on it, it's going to bring up a list of strategies for iMarkets Live. So right now, you want to find four rules where it says FX Crypto, although we refer to this as KISS. Um, Kenya's instant scalping strategy. This is really an improvement of the four rules strategy that I've used over a year and a half now. And so you're going to select the four rules, click save settings and reload. If you want to turn your screen dark, you can turn it on where it says dark mode. Make sure you have the cha-ching notification turned on, which gives you the trade notifications. And that's pretty much all you need. Click save settings and reload and then click out of this. And then your chart is going to look pretty much like this or similar to it. I'm going to show you how I like to go through and kind of change some things. Um, in the training document that I've created, I already have the formats listed for you. So very quickly, I do not use the fractal. I don't use the MA or the EMA. So I, click, I quickly just click an X to delete those and I get rid of them. Or you can hide them, either one, but I don't use them. So I just delete them. And then all I have left is my Bollinger Band, RSI, Stochastic, and MACD. For your Bollinger Band, your settings should be 20 close and 2. RSI should be 7 and close. Your Stochastic should be 5, 3, and 3. And your MACD should be 3, 10, and 9. If you do not have these settings, in order to change them, what you're going to do is click on this middle button here where it says Settings. And that's going to allow you to change the settings. Now, for my Bollinger Band, I particularly like my upper band to be red for my cell. So I usually will change that if you go to upper right here. You can change it to like a red. And then I like to kind of turn it dark or make it thick. So you can make it thick by just clicking on right here at the bottom where it says thickness. And then I go to the lower band and I like to make my lower band like a nice blue. You can really leave it where it is if you want, if you have something similar to what I have here. Probably wanna pick something a little bit lighter. And then let's make that a little bit thicker just so it stands out. So that way we have a clear distinction between buy and sell. And then you just wanna make sure you click on defaults and click save as default and then click okay. And you're gonna exit out of that. Anytime you just want to remove the bands, you can click hide right here on the first wheel and it'll get rid of the bands. So this is if you just want to read price action, mark up your trend line, draw your support and resistance. That's how you can hide it. Then if you go to and if you just click again, it'll bring it back. OK, so show hide button will bring it back and it will also hide it. To format your RSI, if your RSI does not look like my RSI, you can simply click on the middle button that says settings. And when you click on settings, you'll notice here that you have your upper band, your lower band. That's these dots that you're seeing right here. Now, I particularly like my settings on 80 and 20 because that's the settings that I follow for the RSI. I do not do 70 and 30. So make sure that this is updated. I also have this reflected in the trading plan. And when you click save as default, it's going to save that for you so that it clearly marks those levels at 80 and 20. For your RSI signal line, you can change the color right here at the top next to RSI. You can make it a squiggly line. You can make it, there's all kinds of things you can do. You can make it circles. I pretty much just like the line, so I leave it on a line. 
And then for your background, if you want to take the background off, you simply click that and you'll just have a clean background or you can just have it shaded, whatever you want. Make sure you click save as default and then click on OK and your RSI is set up. For your stochastic, you want these settings here, 5, 3, and 3. So my K percentage line is blue, which basically kind of coincides with my buy, and my D percentage line is my red signal line, which pretty much coincides with my sell. So I have also have those bands on 80 and 20, and I don't use the background, I just like it very clear. Make sure you click defaults, save as default, and click OK and then your stochastic is good to go. If you click on the middle button for your MACD, your MACD settings should be three, 10, and nine. Now my histogram is kind of like a magnetic red or pink, and then my MACD is the blue, and then my signal line is the red. So again, my red kind of goes with my cell, my blue goes with my buy, when you look for the blue signal line to cross over the red, that's our confirmation for a buy. Red over blue is our confirmation for a sell. So you click on defaults, make sure you click save as default, click OK. And now you have all of your indicators set up and ready to go. So sometimes I will hide all the indicators when I first do my analysis. So if you see over here to the right, you click on this little up and down arrow and it says toggle maximize pain. If you click on that, it's just gonna give you the Bollinger Band and your candles. So if I wanted to get rid of my candles, I click over here, show high, I mean, sorry, the Bollinger Band, just click show high. And then I can grab my tools right here on the left. So you'll see where I have just on this first icon, um, I can grab my trend line and I can grab my horizontal line. I can quickly mark a trend if I wanted to do that here. So I can draw my trend line just to identify the trend. And then I can identify my key levels. So you can do all those different things there. And I just wanted to show you really quickly how you can set up your indicators and make it all nice and you know however you want it. In the next video, I am going to walk you through the setup of the actual strategy. What do we look for? What are the four confirmations? I'm going to go over my entry, my exit, how I identify the trend and mark key levels, and then my entry and exit into the market. So thank you for watching this video. Please comment if you have any questions. Be sure to join our public telegram to get all the resources that you need, and I will see you in the next training video for the KISS strategy.